I am absolutely humbled and happy to get the Prime Minister on stage. Welcome, Dr. Sarah. Welcome on stage. Welcome on stage. Hello. Here's a microphone for you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Now, I have a couple questions. Um, and obviously, we heard you're, you're looking into this whole field a lot more. Where do you see the place of startups in generating the country's economic dynamics? And how important is, is for you the fact that this year, Slovenia's got the first, and this is really cool, got the first unicorn in Outfit 7? Okay, first, let me say that uh, <clears throat> I'm really impressed by all the ideas I can get from young people today, especially start -uppers. So uh, that's why I'm also here, I mean, to support you, to show you that our government is really looking toward the future with you, with you together. And of course, with all investors and um, other people who are supporting you. And this unicorn, uh, Outfit 7, is one of the greatest examples of our Slovenian, let's say, uh, great success. I mean, I really admire Isa and Samo Login, who succeeded in that way. And I think they are really a good example of uh, hard work, knowledge, persistence, and of course, courage. This is also very important. And I think they serve as, a, as an example for so many young people. And this is the most important thing. And of course, uh, uh, I think that our government will just continue to support all start-uppers, all investors, especially the private ones, because I can see that uh, there are two, uh, there are not enough of them uh, in Slovenia who would like to support the rappers so far. So I am really um, trying to do my best to support um, also those institutes, companies, in a way to be uh, more uh, involved in this process, which is so important for us, for our future. Fantastic. And as, as, as we also said when you arrived today, um, that you received a list from the startups describing the key challenges that they need in order to not leave and go abroad. Yeah. Um, can you give us some kind of commitments which you'll do to achieve this in the future? What's going to happen yeah. systematically? Yeah, first of all, I believe that um, this is not just a matter of supporting start-uppers, but uh, this is the matter of building up a country which uh, provides uh, 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 an excellent, let's say, excellent or very good business environment for everybody, but also security, also other things which are so important for people to live in a country. But of course, uh, back to your question, uh, we are trying our best uh, to, uh, uh, to keep our young people here. Uh, I think it's very important that we have somehow uh, brought our country out of uh, financial, economic, social crisis. And now we must uh, get even more focused on young people who would like to uh, find their jobs here, to work here. And uh, as you know, our government has already uh, uh, took some measures, uh, found some, let's say, ways to support them. But I'm very grateful that I have received uh, new proposals, uh, new ideas uh, from uh, start -uppers, which will be studied carefully. And uh, it is my commitment, it is my commitment definitely that we will do all we can also in the future. And I'm, uh, I'm ready to bring uh, together people from all our ministries or departments in the next few weeks. Actually, I will do so and I will um, uh, push them to do something together uh, to improve this business environment for our young people here in Slovenia. It's great to hear. Very good to hear. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, and do you think this will be what you need in order to succeed in promoting an even more aggressive, let's call it a performance strategy on the market of talents and startups? Because we all know um, that the battle for good talents and good startups is getting really strong in neighboring countries, actually all over the world. Yeah. Uh, well, I agree that the, uh, the world has become very competitive. So you must be very tough, very courageous to uh, succeed in this world. But I don't like the word aggressive. 
I, li I prefer words to be strong or something like that. And for this uh, reason, I call uh, all investors in Slovenia, all people of goodwill, to support our youth, our young people with ideas, with courage. And um, the government uh, will do its part, uh, definitely in the future. And I really want that Slovenia is oriented toward the future. Because this is the only way how we can stay competitive, uh, but also how we can preserve our green uh, country, I mean our Slovenia green. And for this reason, as you know, we have uh, put as, our, as one of our main priorities to become uh, a green reference country in a digital Europe. Meaning that we would like to be modern, we'd like to modernize our country, but in a way uh, to preserve our green landscape. And I also say we must be more and more progressive, modern, but we must still keep our humanity in this uh, environment. So modernization with the human face, so to speak. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Prime Minister, for these <laughs> encouraging words. And uh, just one more word. I came here a bit. I came here a bit tired, and must I must say now that you have really lifted up my spirit with all these presentations and everything. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.